Hey fam, did you miss me? What it do, baby, what it do? It's your boy Kwame, and we're in the best borough, Brooklyn. And it's time for another NYCFC Weekly. Let's edit, it, baby! The boys in blue are back at Yankee Stadium after two straight games on the road. Nick Cushion's squad bounced back to grab a point against the Revs. Let's start spreading the news, y'all. Although they fell behind in the second half, NYCFC show resilience as New England conceded their first goal at home of this young MLS season. It was Talis Magno header off a late set piece that sent our boys with a well-earned point. Here's how it went down. Still Barrero, and it's in towards the back of the net and a goal! An own goal from Mitya Ilinic. They are checking for a potential offside here. Carlos Hill driving towards goal. Carlos Hill! Another end swinging ball. In! There's the equalising goal! It's Carlos Magno once more! He looks like a number nine now! Our boys pushed the Revs all the way and could have taken all three points after a strong end to the game. Here's what Nick Cushing had to say on it. I thought the New England game was a, a real difficult game. We expected a real challenging game from a team that's in form. But I was really, really pleased with the performance. We, we wanted to have a foothold in the game with possession and we did that really, really well. You know, to go away to New England and get a draw is, is a real positive result for us. Some of the things we'll be focusing on this week in our training is how we can create more clear-cut opportunities when, you know, when we, we control the game with possession and we, we carry so much of the ball. I think it's really important that we create chances so that we can you know, punish the opposition. Some of the positives that I've taken away this year have been how we've grown week by week, our ability to apply our identity, whether at home or away. We've improved in performances. We've definitely had individuals that have played bigger parts in, in individual games and now for us it's about moving you know, moving forward after a real positive team performance. Atlanta are a top, top team and we know that whether we're at home or away against an Atlanta team it's going to be a difficult game and when you have a guy like Almada he can decide games on his own so you know just like we did against Carlos Gill and you know Shakiri at Chicago we have to make sure that we keep these guys quiet we have to restrict their space, their time, and if we get Gabriel Pereira, Santiago Rodriguez, Talas Magno, and you know a, a lot of our other talent in the team playing together, then we we know we can punish teams. To give James Sands an armband, you know, it is a good recognition of what he brings to our team, and he fully deserved it. Did a great job, and you know, to see Gabe Siegel make his debut and put in a performance that he put in, it, it only enthuses me with what we have in our first 11, what we can bring in from MLS 2 and what we can do from our bench is uh, a real positive sign for our football team. Next up for the squad is the first of three straight home games starting with the talented Atlanta United, who is coming off a 1-0 victory against the Red Bulls last weekend. The host will have to find a way to contain the relentless Atlanta attack as the boys from ATL have already put in 13 goals this season. Good for the second most in the league. NYCFC fared well against the visitors last season, earning four of the possible six points, thanks to a 2-2 draw at Yankee Stadium and a 2-1 victory for the good guys down south. I know you want to chill with us this Saturday in the Boogie Down Bronx, so get your tickets right now on Ticketmaster. And if you can't make it, MLS Season Pass on Apple TV is the spot to catch all of our games, especially this one Saturday at 7.30. Dial in New York, baby.